Hi guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Christine and I would love for you to join my YouTube family by clicking on to that subscribe button as well as the notification bell beside it so that you would be notified every time I upload a new video. Before this year ends guys, I'm going to share with you all of the makeup products na nagustuhan ko for the year of 2018. Most of these products is from the drugstore and is locally available. And ang good news dito, unting-unti lang yung products na um, high-end or medyo pricey. So, kung gusto nyo makita ako ano yung mga makeup products na nagustuhan ko this year, then just keep on watching. sunod-sunod ng mga makeup products na ipapakita ko sa inyo guys is based on how I apply my makeup. So, I always start off with my brows. So, I have here two eyebrow pencils to share with you guys. Um, yung isa dito is yung Etude House Drawing Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Grey Brown. And this is my Holy Grail Eyebrow Pencil for the longest time. Sobrang dami ko nang naubos na ganito. Kaya lang, ang problema kasi... Um, sa eyebrow pencil na to is lagi siyang sold out and matagal silang mag-restock. Pero gustong gusto ko to kasi 150 pesos lang siya pero sobrang ganda ng formula. Very creamy, um, very pigmented and madali siyang i-blend out. May kasama na siyang spoolie and hindi mo kailangan diinan yung application when it comes to this eyebrow pencil. Itong pinapakita ko sa inyo right now is ubus na. Wala na talaga siyang laman. But this Eyebrow pencil is my holy grail eyebrow pencil. And then recently, na-discover ko tong um, The Face Shop Designing Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Grey Brown. Ito yung ginagamit ng pinsan ko. And then, um, hindi ko alam na meron na pala akong ganito sa makeup collection ko. Kasi nung nag -e enroll kami before, um, wala akong dalang pangkilay. And then, hindi ko naman ina expect na matutulog ako sa dorm that day. So, I decided to buy an eyebrow pencil dun sa malapit na um, bilihan, malapit sa dorm namin. And then, ito pala yung binili kong eyebrow pencil. Tapos, nung um, nakita kong ginagamit siya ng pinsan ko, bumili ako ng isa pa. And then, nung pagdating ko ng bahay, nakita ko may ganto na pala ako. And sobrang nagustuhan ko siya. Very creamy. Same thing dun sa um, Etude House. Sobrang creamy, madaling i-apply. You don't have to put um, a lot of pressure sa kilay nyo. And very pigmented, madaling i-blend out. May kasama ng spoolie and all that stuff. So, I really do like this eyebrow pencil. Pero kung ako, papat kung ako ang tatanungin, feel ko mas gusto ko tong si The Face Shop. Mas maganda kasi yung formula niya. Mas ma-creamy siya kaysa kay Etude House. And then, to set my brows, I always use the Maybelline um, Fashion Brow Color Drama Mascara in Dark Brown. Uh, matagal ko na tong ginagamit. Pangalawang tube ko na to. And I love this eyebrow mascara. Ang problema ko lang dito is medyo pricey siya for everyday use. Pero I tried using yung ibang mga dupe for this um, eyebrow mascara sa drugstore. Pero um, ito pa rin talaga yung nagugustuhan ko. Kasi yung ibang mga eyebrow, eyebrow mascara from the drugstore, may malalaki silang glitters. Ito kasi wala. Talagang... Um, tinted brow mascara lang siya. And I always go back to this eyebrow mascara. Let's move on naman dun sa mga eyeshadow palettes na nagustuhan ko this year. I have four right here to share with you guys. And I'm going to start off with this one. This is the Detail Makeover Metallics Eyeshadow Palette. Nakuha ko to kasama nung um, anniversary bundle nila na may kasama ng loose powder, primer oil, and liquid eyeliner. I love this eyeshadow palette. Ang ganda ng color selection niya. You don't only get yung mga usual colors na golds, plums, um, berries, rose golds. Pero ang maganda dito, may kasama na din siyang mga colorful shades. And this is very nice to have, especially kung gustong gusto nyo yung mga foil dye shadow, metallics eye shadow. And sobrang ganda nitong formula nila kasi very buildable, very blinding, very metallic yung mga shade. Kahit hindi mo nang i-wet yung brush mo, sobrang ganda ng pigmentation ng mga eyeshadow na to from the Detail Makeover Metallics palette. Very buttery, very creamy ng formula nila. Like I said earlier, very pigmented din. And I love this eyeshadow palette, especially kung gumagawa ko ng mga dramatic looks. Kailangan ko ng mga um, 
foiled eyeshadow, metallic eyeshadow. Laging ito yung kinukuha ko this year kasi andito na lahat ng kailangan mong lid shade. Sobrang ganda ng eyeshadow palette na to. Kung hindi nyo pa natatry, itry nyo na kasi sobrang, sobrang ganda ng formula, color payoff, and sobrang mura lang nito. I, I think wala pa tong 500 pesos kung hindi ako nagkakamali. Ewan ko guys ako magkano talaga to pero from the drugstore, ang ganda na ng formula nito. Sobrang ganda. Very comparable siya dun sa mga coil dye shadow ng Morphe. Sobrang ganda ng formula. And I know pa ulit-ulit na yung sinasabi ko. Pero I highly, highly recommend this eyeshadow palette to you guys kung hindi nyo pa natatry. Next is these two eyeshadow palettes from Wet n Wild. This is um, in the shade Nude Awakening and this one is Rosé in the Air. Kinamit ko to on one of my makeup tutorials before. And sobrang ganda ng eyeshadow palettes na to. Considering na 350 pesos lang sila from the drugstore. Ang ganda ng color selections. Very nice yung pigmentation, yung formula buildability, blendability. Sobrang ganda ng formula ng Wet n Wild eyeshadows. And very, very cheap lang sila. Among dun sa dalawang eyeshadow palette na meron ako, Favorite ko tong si Rosé in the Air kasi meron siyang mga warm um, eyeshadow. Ito kasing si Nude Awakening is more of that dark plum shade. As you guys can see, medyo mas appropriate to for daytime looks. Ito naman mas appropriate for night look kasi very dark yung mga shades niya for the face. I love the formula of the Wet n Wild eyeshadow guys. And very cheap lang sila. So, if you are looking for an affordable eyeshadow na kompleto na siyang matte and shimmer shades, itry nyo yung mga eyeshadow ng Wet n Wild. Next is this eyeshadow palette from Pixie. This is a collaboration with It's Duty Time. And there was a point nung summer time na itong eyeshadow palette yung lagi kong ginagamit. Ginagamit ko to as my transition shade. And then, I apply ko to on my crease. And then, I will darken it up using this shade. And then, I'm going to take this shade all over my lids. And then, yun na. Laging ganun yung makeup look na ginagawa ko nung summer. And then, I'm just going to put on some mascara. Pero, I love this eyeshadow palette. Very neutral. Very perfect for everyday use. So, if you're looking for a nice eyeshadow palette in your um, makeup collection na gusto nyo gamitin for everyday use. Sobrang ganda ng eyeshadow palette na to. Ang ganda din ng formula niya. Very buildable. Very blendable. Very pigmented. And sobrang ganda ng um, mga foil dye shadow dito. As in, very creamy yung formula niya. And same thing goes dun sa mga matte shades. Very buttery ng formula niya and very pigmented as you guys can see. Sobrang ganda ng eyeshadow palette na to. This is one of my favorite go-to eyeshadow palettes in my makeup collection. Next, for mascara, pinaka-favorite kong mascara this year is this EB Advanced Lush Define Waterproof Mascara. Ang maganda sa mascara na to is may want na siya for your top lashes. And then, meron na din siya for your bottom lashes. So, very nice siya kasi perfect siya for your top and your bottom lashes. And although this is waterproof mascara, hindi siya mahirap tanggalin by the end of the day. Um, hindi mo kailangan gumamit ng makeup remover to remove this. Kahit facial wash lang, natatanggal na siya. And hindi siya yung tipo ng mascara na pag binanlawan mo, uh, mangingitim yung ilalim ng mata mo. Para lang siyang uh, maliliit na tube na natatanggal pag hinugasan mo. And ang gusto ko dito, hindi siya nag smudge underneath my eyes. Hindi siya nag ng black na... Um, ano man tawag doon? Parang nag i siya sa ilalim ng mata. Hindi. Ang ganda ng mascara na to, I love the formula. And, 225 pesos lang siya. So, very sulit siya. If you are looking for an everyday mascara from the drugstore, sobrang ganda ng mascara na to. I highly, highly recommend it. For my false eyelashes, guys, alam ko, most of you already know that I love the Glad King false eyelashes. Ito yung ibang mga false eyelashes na nabuksan ko this year. And meron pa akong isang malaking drawer doon na puno ng ganitong eyelashes. And sobrang ganda ng mga lashes na to, guys. 110 pesos lang siya. Actually, nagtas na yung presyo nila. Dati, 100 pesos lang siya. Ngayon, 110 na. Ewan ko lang ngayon kasi hindi na, matagal na akong hindi nakakabili. My favorite style is 07. Alam ko, 
most of you already know that my favorite style is 07. Kaya lang kasi sobrang ganda ng falls eyelashes na to. Especially this style. Very natural looking lang siya. And hindi siya yung overwhelming na false eyelashes. And ang maganda kasi sa kanila, yung false eyelashes nila, parang totoong buhok lang. So, kapag suot mo sila, very natural looking siya tignan. And hindi siya yung parang OA tignan. I love the style 07. Pinaka-favorite ko talaga yung 07. Pero I have a lot of different styles from Glad King. So, if you're looking for an affordable na false eyelashes na mukhang 3D or mukhang um, natural lang, itry nyo na tong si Glad King false eyelashes. Sobrang ganda. I swear. And madali silang i-apply. Hindi sila yung very... Um, may mga false eyelashes kasi na pag nilagay mo, parang ang stiff nila. So, pag nilagay mo yung gilid, magpa-pop off yung nasa inner corners. Pag nilagay mo inner corners, magpa-pop off yung um, outer corners. Ito kasi, Madali lang siyang i-apply once na um, tahi na yung glue. Okay, pag in-apply mo siya, talagang didikit na siya agad. So, I like this false eyelashes very much. So, kung hindi nyo pa natatry yung mga false eyelashes ng Glad King na nasa ganitong packaging, itry nyo na. Kasi sobrang ganda and very natural looking lang sila. My favorite eyelash glue is yung Etude House Pro Eyelashes Eyelash Glue. Um, natry ko na before yung sa Etude House. Kaya lang, ang hirap tanggalin nung um, glue residue niya sa mata. As in, kailangan um, ilang araw mong ibabad sa makeup remover yung lash line mo para lang matanggal yung mga excess glue. So, mas nagustuhan ko yung The Face Shop na eyelash glue. I think this is around 198 pesos. Talagang hinohold niya yung lashes mo. Pero pag tinanggal mo siya, hindi siya mahirap tanggalin. So, I really do like this eyelash glue. And nagda-dry siya into a clear formula. So, I love, love, love this eyelash glue. If you're looking for a nice eyelash glue, itry nyo siya. Let's move on naman dun sa mga face products na nagustuhan ko this year. Let's start off with face primers. So, unahin ko na to si Catrice. Um, Prime and Fine Beautifying Primer. I love this primer kasi para lang siya moisturizer consistency. So, hinahydrate niya yung skin mo. And at the same time, meron siyang soft focus effect. When I say soft focus effect, biniblur out niya yung imperfections sa face mo. Mas mukhang flawless yung skin mo bago ka mag-apply ng foundation. So, I love this primer so much. And meron siyang parang peachy tint na um, formula. So, kapag in-apply mo siya sa skin, para siyang nagbabrighten ng complexion and meron siyang um, soft, dewy na finish. Ewan ko kung nakikita nyo sa camera, pero um, may soft, dewy finish siya pag ina-apply mo sa skin. So, very nice siya. Especially kung gagamit kayo ng matte na foundation. Maganda siyang ipang primer. Underneath the matte foundation na gagamitin nyo kasi gives a luminous finish sa skin para hindi naman flat na flat tingnan yung face nyo. Next is etong si Detail Makeover Illuminating Primer Oil in the shade Gold. Ito yung sinasabi kong kasama no metallics eyeshadow palette na pinakita ko sa inyo kanina. I love, love, love this um, illuminating primer from Detail Makeover. Kasi kahit na oily skin ako, hindi siya yung um, parang primer oil na talagang magmumukha kang oily. Ang maganda dito, nagsisink in talaga siya sa skin ko. And, meron na siyang mga gold reflex na kasama. So, kapag nag apply ako ng matte foundation, madalas ito yung um, kinocombine ko kay Catrice Cosmetics na primer. Kasi, um, tinatanggal niya yung parang super matte finish ng foundation. And, mas mukha kang healthy tignan pag ginamit mo tong primer na to. So, I love this primer oil from Detail Makeover. Kasi, Ang ganda ng finish niya sa skin and hindi siya overly um, oily tignan sa skin. Next is this Benefit Professional Primer. I love using this primer to blur out yung mga pores ko around my nose, my forehead, my chin. And mas gusto ko to kesa dun sa Maybelline um, Baby Skin na primer. Kasi yun, very silicone siya. So, parang nakapatong lang siya sa skin mo and parang dumudulas lang yung foundation. This one is nice kasi hindi siya yung tulad ng baby skin na parang silicone lang. Ito, parang nagsisink in talaga siya sa pores and fini-fill in yung pores mo. So, mas gusto ko to kesa dun sa mga silicone na base. 
and matagal na tong um, cult favorite ng mga makeup gurus or ng mga uh, makeup addicts in general pero I love 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 this um, primer and matagal na to sa akin sobrang tagal niyang maubos you only need just a little bit of this to fill in certain areas of your face. Ginagamit ko to lagi, especially kapag may mga special occasions. Kasi mas flawless tignan yung skin ko kapag ginagamit ko to. Kasi nabublur out niya yung mga pores ko. Let's move on dun sa mga favorite foundations ko. Pero let's start off with these two foundations right here. Kasi may time na talagang ilang buwan ko ginagamit yung combination ng dalawang foundation na to. I'm going to start off with this one. This is the LA Girl Pro Coverage High Definition Longwear Illuminating Foundation. Very comparable siya dun sa Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation na sobrang favorite ko when it comes to um, flash photography kasi hindi siya naglilive ng cast. Pero ang nagustuhan ko dito, hindi siya yung super matte. Kaya lang ang problema ko, um, dito sa T-zone ko, where I am oily, sobrang um, dewy niya. Tignan. So, minsan parang mukha siyang oily na. So, um, I decided to mix it with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte na foundation. And I fell in love with the combination of these two. It gives this natural um, matte finish. Ito kasing si L'Oreal Pro Matte, masyado siyang matte kung gagamitin mo siya ng mag-isa. And talagang nagsisink siya dito sa sides ng nose ko. So, um, I decided to mix them both and then I fell in love with the combination of this foundation kasi sobrang ganda, very natural looking and um, pag sinusot ko yung combination na to marami nagtatanong kung ano yung foundation na gamit ko kasi talagang nag-blur out niya yung imperfections ng face ko especially yung mga pores ko ang ganda ng combination na to kung hindi nyo pa natatry paghuluin tong dalawang to, ang ganda ng combination niya, pero I love the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte kasi long lasting siya sa face and every time na pupunta ako sa mga occasion, sinahaluan ko yung foundation ko ng um L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte para mas matagal yung finish sa face ko. And, eto naman ginagamit ko for everyday use dati na kakombine nito. So, um, I highly, highly recommend this combination if you haven't tried it. Itong dalawang foundation na to, sobrang ganda ng formula. Kaya lang nga sa akin, itong si LA Girl, medyo oily siya sa T-zone ko, pero I love the combination of these two foundations. Pag nagmamadali naman ako, guys, and wala na akong time maghalo ng um, foundation na pinakita ko sa inyo kanina, ginagamit ko itong si Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation, and I am in the shade 220. Um, I love this foundation for everyday use kasi very natural lang yung finish niya. Hindi siya yung masyadong matte, hindi din siya yung masyadong um, dewy tignan sa skin to the point na parang at the end of the day very oily ka na tignan. Madali siyang i-blend. Um, hindi siya mabigat sa feeling, hindi siya malagkit and it blurs out my pores. So I love this foundation and alam ko most of you guys out there gustong gusto nyo din yung foundation na to. And sobrang mura lang niya from Maybelline. And madalas naman nagsisale ang Maybelline. So kung hindi nyo pa natatry tong si Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation, itry nyo kapag nakasale siya, bumili kayo kasi sobrang sulit ng foundation na to. Ang ayoko lang sa foundation na to is wala siyang pump or spatula man lang. Kasi sobrang kalat niyang i-dispense. So you guys can see, sobrang kalat na nung akin. And ang daming nasasayang na foundation sa um, packaging nila. Pero other than that, I love, love, love this foundation so much. And nakalimutan ko sabihin, dun sa LA Girl Pro Coverage High Definition Longwear um, Illuminating Foundation, sobrang haba ng pangalan. My shade is Nude Beige. I love this shade kasi perfect siya on my skin tone. And then dito naman sa L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte, I am in the shade Golden Beige or 104. Next is concealer, and iisang concealer lang yung ginamit ko for the whole year. And ito yon. this is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade um, Creamy Beige. Lagi yung nakakalimutan yung shade ko, pero I am in the shade Creamy Beige. And usually, pag hindi na ako nagpa-foundation or nag-BBB cream sa araw-araw ko, um, ito lang yung ginagamit ko. I apply this on my forehead, sa sides ng nose, underneath my eyes, and the sides of my um, lips. And sobrang ganda ng coverage, very natural looking, madaling i-blend, mura lang siya. And hindi siya yung tulad ng Maybelline Fit Me. Um, namumuo siya sa ilalim ng mata ko by the end of the day. So, mahahalata mo talagang 
um, may suot akong concealer. Ito, hindi siya ganun. Uh, by the end of the day, talagang parang seamless lang yung um, concealer na to sa face ko. So, I highly recommend this concealer kung hindi nyo pa siya natatry. Next is setting powders. I have three to share with you guys. And uunahin ko na tong si Nichito Final Powder in the shade Ivory Glow. I love this um, final powder from Nichido kasi sobrang mura lang niya and ang ganda ng formula. Sobrang pino ng formula niya na kahit gamitin mo siyang pang bake, hindi siya powdery tignan. Parang nagme-melt lang siya sa skin. And sobrang dami mo ng product na makukuha sa halagang 150 pesos. So kung beginner pa lang kayo sa makeup and naghahanap kayo ng magandang everyday powder, itry nyo tong si Nichido kasi sobrang mura lang niya and ang tagal na nitong product na to sa akin and sobrang daming product yung makukuha nyo. Next is this Detail Makeover Mineral Loose Powder. Tulad nung Nichido na final powder, pinong-pino din yung formula niya kaya lang mas pino yung kay Nichido. And, ang nagustuhan ko dito is yung packaging. May kasama na siyang salamin. As you guys can see, may kasama din siyang puff. And, um, compared kay Nichido, mas may coverage tong powder na to. Ewan ko lang kung magkano to in, kung bibilin mo siya individually yung hindi kasama yung anniversary bundle. Pero, I'm sure, very affordable din siya. And, I like this powder as well. Next is this Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder. Medyo high-end to guys, medyo pricey siya. Pero I love this powder, especially kapag a-attend ako ng mga special occasions. Kasi talagang bina-blur out niya yung pores ko. Very seamless siya tingnan sa skin. And bina-brighten up niya yung ilalim ng mata ko. So, mas flawless siya tingnan sa skin. I love this powder, pero yun lang. Medyo high-end siya and medyo pricey. Pero I still do love this powder. For touch-up naman, ginagamit ko lagi si Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in the shade 130 Buff Beige. Yeah, Buff Beige. And, ito actually is bago kasi binili ko nung nag-sale yung Maybelline. Pero, ito yung lumang Maybelline na Fit Me Powder ko. Talagang ubus na ubus na siya. I love this powder. Lagi ko itong dinadala whenever I go somewhere kasi seamless siya tingnan sa skin. Hindi siya yung overly full coverage na powder foundation tulad ng MAC Studio Fix Plus Face Powder. Yun kasi kapag mas mataas yung coverage ng powder mo, mas madalas kang mag-oil up. Ito, May coverage siya, pero hindi siya full coverage. Minamatify niya yung areas na in ko. And matagal ako mag-oil up dun sa mga areas na ina ko nito. So, I love, love, love this powder. And sobrang mura lang nito. And madalas naman mag-sale lang ang Maybelline, like I said kanina. So, mura lang tong powder na to. And hindi ka manghihinayang kapag naubos mo na to. Next is contour powders or bronzing powders. I have here the... Wet and Wild Mega Contour Palette in the shade Dulce de Leche. Ang ganda ng um, pang contour nito guys. Sobrang mura lang nito. 350 pesos and you get a um, brightening powder and a contour powder. So I love this powder kasi um, hindi siya yung very warm na shade. Hindi din siya yung very cool tone na shade to the point na um, very ashy tignan sa cheeks. Ang ganda ng um, shade na to kasi very natural looking lang siya once you apply it sa cheeks and um, very pigmented siya. You, so, you have to be careful. Pero, ang maganda sa powder na to is madali siyang i-blend. So, kahit maparami yung lagay mo, madali mo siyang mareremedyohan kasi madali i-blend out yung powder na to. I love this powder. Again, this is only 349 pesos. Sobrang mura na niya from the drugstore. And, ang ganda-ganda ng quality. Next is this Sleek Makeup Contour Kit in the shade Light. I love using this um, contour shade kapag gusto ko yung talagang defined na cheekbones. Kasi compared kay Wet n Wild na pinakita ko sa inyo kanina, mas may um, ashy undertone to. Mas maganda yung undertone nito for contouring your cheekbones. Si Mega um, Glow Contour Palette from Wet n Wild is mas magandang pang bronzer. This one is better for contouring your cheeks. Hindi siya yung overly gray tignan as you guys can see. Perfect yung color niya for contouring certain areas of your face na gusto nyong i-enhance. I love, love, love this. Flick Makeup Contour Kit in the shade light. Especially itong pang contour. Not so much yung pang highlight kasi masyadong light sa akin. Pero I love this product from Sleek Makeup. Ang ganda din ng packaging niya. May kasama ng mirror. Very compact. 
and perfect for traveling. Let's move on sa mga blush. I have here three blushes na sobrang favorite ko. Let's start off with this Detail Makeover Bloom Matte Blush in the shade Intimate. Laging sold out tong shade na to. Pero I love this shade for everyday use. There was a point na talagang araw-araw, ito lang yung ginagamit ko. Actually, pangalawang purchase ko na to kasi ubus ko na yung isa. And I love this shade kasi perfect siya for everyday. Naglalas sa akin. Itong blush na to throughout the day. So, I love this. And hindi siya patchy tignan sa skin. I highly recommend this blush. Kung hindi nyo pa na-try, 180 pesos lang siya. And sobrang sulit na niya. Next is this Satin Touch Blush from Essence in the shade Satin Coral. Ang gusto ko sanang shade is yung Satin Love. Kaya lang hindi siya available at that time nung binili ko to. And as you guys can see, sira-sira na yung akin. Sira na yung packaging, tapos sira pa yung powder. But I love, love, love this blush so much. Kasi um, it gives this youthful appearance sa cheeks. And hindi siya yung flat na matte na blush na minsan powdery tignan. Ang ganda ng formula nito. Very pigmented, very buttery, and madali siyang i-blend out. And gusto ko talaga yung finish niya na satin kasi talagang it gives a glowy effect sa cheeks na mas mukha kang youthful. Ganun. So, I love this blush so much. Next is this Careline Oil Control Blush On in the shade Rosy Cheek. Sa tingin ko, wala na tong shade na to, pero I love this shade so, so much. Kasi, tingnan nyo, Ang ganda ng shade niya for everyday use. Para ka lang talagang naturally glowing or blushing from within. And ang maganda dito sa blush na to, ito yung pinaka long lasting na blush ko in my makeup collection. Maliban dun sa Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush. Kasi yun talaga, kahit um, ilang oras kang um, nagpo-party, talagang meron ka pang blush. Pero from the drugstore, ito yung katapat ng Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush. Talagang long-lasting to sa cheeks mo and it's only one, 100 pesos ata to or 90 pesos. Sobrang mura niya and ang ganda ng formula. Very pigmented to guys so you have to be very careful. If you are looking for a long-wearing blush from the drugstore, itry nyo tong si Careline um, Oil Control Blush On. Kaya lang itong shade na rosy cheek wala na talaga. Ang magandang shade nila doon is yung Peach Glow. Maganda din yon at saka yung Starlight starlight star ata. Yun. Hindi ko na alam yung shade. Pero maganda din yung shade na yun. For highlighter, favorite highlighter ko for this year is etong si Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in the shade Molten Gold. As you guys can see, sobrang blinding ng highlighter na to. And hindi mo akalain na galing lang siya sa drugstore. Kasi sobrang ganda ng quality niya. Very pigmented, very buttery, and very blinding talaga siya. Sinwatch ko na siya kanina and as you guys can see, sobrang ganda ng formula niya. Very blinding siya. Pero hindi siya yung tipo ng highlighter na may malalaking glitters na talagang ayoko kasi ang pangit tingnan sa cheeks and talagang hina-highlight ng mga ganong highlighter yung texture. Ito, hindi niya masyado hina-highlight yung mga imperfections or textures sa skin which, which is what I like. So, I love this highlighter from Maybelline. Next is setting spray and my favorite setting spray for this year is the Milani Make It Last setting spray. I love this setting spray kasi mabango siya and talagang um, naglalas yung makeup ko pag sineset ko using this setting spray. Pangalawang bottle ko na to as you guys can see. Pero I love this setting spray. This is not locally available sa Philippines pero you can purchase online sa mga online shops. I love this and gusto gusto ko yung mist niya kasi very fine lang yung mist niya and I love this setting spray. Last guys is lips and ang favorite lip and cheek tint ko is etong si KJM lip and cheek tint in the shade Tango. Ito yung pinaka gusto kong shade among all of the colors ng KJM kasi the rest of the shades na meron sila is super red, super um, pink yung color and I like this shade kasi it's a perfect in between of a orange and a red. Hindi siya masyadong striking tignan and in my opinion, ito yung pinaka-natural tingnan. Um, madalas, kapag hindi ako nagsusot ng makeup, maglalagay lang net ako nito sa cheeks ko and sa lips ko para hindi ako masyadong maputla tingnan. And minsan, ina-apply ko to before I apply my um, lipstick para um, kahit mabura yung lipstick na susutin ko, meron pa rin kulay yung lips ko and hindi ko kailangan mag apply ng lipstick. Pero right now, I'm going to share with you guys yung mga favorite lipstick ko for this year. 
I have here one from the Powder Mats collection ng Maybelline. This is in the shade Toasted Brown. I love this shade kasi para siyang um, warm nude na color and close siya sa lip color ko. So, I always um, go to this shade kasi very natural looking lang siya. And I love the formula of the Maybelline Powder Mats kasi um, very lightweight lang siya sa feeling and hindi siya yung tipo ng matte na very drying. And I also have here yung um, creamy mats nila in the shade um, Clay Crush. Um, yung shade na Clay Crush, mas gusto ko siya kaysa kay Toasted Brown. Kasi minsan si Toasted Brown nagmumukhang masyadong orange sa akin. Malawang tube ko na to, pero I love this formula as well. Actually, mas gusto ko yung formula ng creamy mats kasi mas opaque siya tingnan kaysa kay powder mats. Next is this NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in the shade Ruffle Cream. Ilang beses ko na na-mention sa mga videos ko na this is my favorite um, liquid lipstick for everyday use. Kasi ang ganda ng shade, hindi siya yung talagang nude na nude. Halos ka-color niya si, uh, si Clay Crush actually na in a liquid lipstick form. So, minsan ginagamit ko to kung gusto ko talaga mag yung lipstick ko. Next is this Fashion 21 Color Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Butterscotch. I love using this on top of yung KJM na liquid lipstick kasi ang ganda ng um, combination nilang dalawa. It's a nice um, nude na uh, color. Hindi siya, wala siyang pink undertone. Para lang talaga siyang warm na color na similar dun sa Toasted Brown. Pero ito, mas nude siya tignan kesa kay Toasted Brown. So, I love, love, love this shade. And, ang um, ganda ng combination niya together with the shade Tango ng KJM. Last products, guys, is this Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the shade Seductress and Amazonian. Favorite ko si Amazonian for everyday use kasi it's a nice brownie um, shade. Parang uh, it's a nice nude brown shade. So, ang ganda ng shade na to. And, madalas pag gusto kong mag yung lipstick ko, ito yung ginagamit ko. Ito namang si Seductress, gusto gusto ko siyang ginagamit on top of a liquid lip. Uh, I mean, ay um, lip and cheek tint kasi ang ganda ng combination niya. Kasi alone, masyado siyang light na nude sa akin. So, hindi ko siya pwedeng gamitin alone. Pero I love using this on top of a lip and cheek tint. So, I love this too. Um, liquid lipstick in times na gusto ko talagang mag yung lipstick ko. And talaga ang ganda ng formula nito kasi kahit kumain ka ng mamamantikang pagkain, talagang nag stay tong lipstick na to. So, if you want a long-lasting liquid lipstick, itry nyo na tong si Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink na lipstick. So, that is it for today's video guys. Sana na-enjoy nyo tong video na to and sana naging helpful din siya somehow sa inyo kung naghahanap kayo ng mga magagandang makeup products. But, those are the makeup products na nagustuhan ko this year of 2018. And, kung meron pa kayong ibang mga makeup products na sa tingin nyo gusto kong or magugustuhan ko, i-comment nyo siya sa comment section down below. And, kung meron pa kayong ibang video request, i-leave you din siya sa comment section down below. Don't forget to like, comment, share this video to your friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!